the new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game for the PS4. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a playthrough today on single player mode. This game, I would say, is good fun for families. Um, it's good for a bit of a Christmas get together if it actually happens this year. Um, but there's not a huge amount of replayability, as is always the case with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire games. Um, it, it can be mildly addictive for a short period of time, but it's not a game that you can sink too much time into. At the minute, it retails for thirty-four ninety-nine in the UK. Um, I'll probably wait for it to come down a little bit before you uh, rush out to buy it, but it's good fun. And it's, you know, it's not overly serious, as you'll see in a moment. So, um, different modes then. You've got solo, obviously just yourself playing. Usual question, 15, 15 questions. Local multiplayer, that's if you've got people around. Family mode, um, that's basically a lot more simple questions. So if you've got kids and that sort of thing, they can take part. And then you've got the online multiplayer, which is where you literally play against other people on a server. Um, and it's a competition without lifelines, a strict timer, and it's just who lasts the longest and answers questions fastest effectively but today we're gonna go on solo um we'll see how we get on so here we go so you've got a choice of characters um all these different characters look uh to be honest with you it makes absolutely very little difference which character you pick the only thing that's slightly different for each one is your phone a friend options. Um, so we'll go with Rube because he's just hilarious, just how, how arrogant he is. Um, but let's have a go. See how far we go. The other thing I learned about this game as well is that as you go through it and you earn money, that converts into like these special coins you can spend in the shop and then you can buy more question packs and things. Uh, which is quite a nice feature, which is a nice feature actually. Uh, this host, by the way, not Chris Tarrant, not Jeremy Clarkson. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, just some randomer. <laughs> if you remember the old games for PS1 and things, it used to be Chris Tarrant himself. I'm going to show you what I'm made of tonight. Clarkson. You won't be disappointed. Are you ready to make some money? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's well, far we got. Let's embarrass line. myself. Fifteen questions, and at the top, the million. <laughs> to help you, you have four lifelines at your disposal. So the usual three and lifelines, the traditional lifelines, and you've also got the flip the question, which gives you a new question. question. So that's different to ask the host. Isn't it? Um, well, there you go. It's time to move on to a new question. Here we go. Hundred pounder. Right, this one's a... Uh, you can see how they always start off dead simple. I say he says that. <laughs> I'll probably get the 300 pound... I'll probably get the 200 pound question wrong after this. Um, C, for yours truly. You figured it out perfectly. Nice answer. Your new quest. <laughs> oh, yes. So... <laughs> Read this one at school. But by the way, to access your lifelines, and just notice we're at a timer. No doubt. To really. access your lifelines, you just press R1 and they come up at the top Is of the that pyramid. Your final answer? You um, it off. The first five questions, you've got 15 seconds to answer. Okay, we're driving mode. up the jackpot. If you go for easy mode, there's no timer, but you don't get any reward for Here's a new in terms of you. like credits to spend in the shop. After the first five questions, you get... 30 seconds to answer, and then on the final five questions, you get 45 seconds to answer because obviously they're a bit harder. Let's go um, for C. <laughs> Let's save some time. That's the this one. guy is a moron, the guy who's playing. Um, the handsomest and the most cultured. <laughs> what more could you want? Slightly cringeworthy. <laughs> this new question shouldn't Mom's give you a hard time, in theory. So, when talking about a member of a fraternal organisation, Mason is short for what? Freemason, Old Mason, Long Mason, Round Mason. Free Mason. Let's not waste any time. A. And what will... Of course. 
Look well, I've got 500 you. quid without spending okay, a single lifeline yet, so that's not too bad. So let's move on to a whole new question. These farces. Oh, actually, on this one, I do not know. I literally do not know. Um, I'm going to flip the question. By using the flip, you decided to be wise. I guess it was D, but I've literally got no idea. Ugh, good job I didn't. It's time to move on to a right. new question. Poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson is titled The Cha Charge of the Light Brigade, I believe. Yeah, I think. Yeah, D. It's gotta be. Yes. Of course it's D. Anyone else in my place would know it. You, you reached so, I've got a thousand pounds, but I have used a lifeline. Now, this is the uh, where the fun begins. Lisa, won't be going home with nothing. That would be embarrassing on a playthrough for YouTube. When were war crime trials held after World War II? Where were no Nuremberg? I'm going to choose B. That's what we were looking for. That's right. And here's a new question that I hope won't worry you. In the West End show, in the West End, the show, the play, what I wrote, is a tribute to which comedy duo? Abbott and Costello, Lauren Hardy, Flanagan and Allen, Morecambe and Wise. Well, now. Now, that's a struggle. It could, I think it's D, personally. Um, but I'm not going to risk it at this stage. I'm going to phone a friend. This will be funny. By calling someone, you may be making sure you, when you get call rid of dad, this embarrassing it's question. Hilarious. Okay, let's go. Paul is dad. Hiya, dad. Hello, Dad. <laughs> yes, Ruben. What's all this about? I need your help. I I'm completely stuck on this question. I'm it it's, it's annoying. Um, if I was to guess, I'd say D. I'm so happy. Mm. I know the answer, and it's D. Well, I'd have said D. <laughs> he said D. Sort of. No doubt, really. It it's D. Are you absolutely sure? That's the one. Oh. So we're up to four grand to use two lifelines. Uh, I'm what more getting concerned now. But anyway. The furthest I've gotten this so far, 64. This new question is now I don't waiting see the point of cheating or anything. I have to do it colors. First Crusade. You see, I'm not a historian. I'm guessing it'd be the seventh because it's, it's it just seems so long. No, no, no idea. No. See, oh, I'm, 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 so I'm gonna have to go I'm for the audience. Okay, guys, this is an important question. I hope it's decisive. Pick up those keypads and enter your votes now. And they're not always right, as you can imagine. D. Hmm. You see, I said seventh, but they're saying the eleventh. So I'm with the audience. No doubts whatsoever. Obviously. It's quite a decent margin. Final answer? You figured oh, it out it. perfectly. I hope you have recovered from your emotions because here <laughs> is your new question. Yeah, I've recovered all right. Right then. Again, no idea. I'm gonna go 50 50, then I'm gonna have to take okay. a guess. Um. I've literally got no idea. I'll go with lead. C, for yours truly. Actually, no, I'm going to go with iron, because iron ore is something you wore, whereas lead, you don't you have to be you wore it. But is this your I final answer? I might be totally wrong there. You only know your answer. Jammy, that. That's 16 all grand. Me. Okay. So that was a total fluke. Last minute change of heart. 
I just didn't think lead was something now you could owe, but I might be totally pressure, wrong there. Here's a new question. I've never read a lead or I've read vinyl. Which of these words means wickedness? Topography, no. Turpitude. Torpidity. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna lose a lot of money on this. I'm gonna go with B. Uh, let's go with B. Just for the sake of it. I have absolutely no idea again. Is that your final answer? Um, that's my final answer. The choice is made. This money is safe oh. now. Thanks to the pressure. Wow, that is jammy. The reason why I thought that is Terp, Terp, and, and Turpin, the guy who stole stuff. That was literally my only. That's probably totally wrong again. Uh, you but you can see how hard this game gets. And now that now. gives me a punt at the 64 grand question. I probably won't lose anything. Oh, well, I won't lose anything. Um, Look and Debbie. Again, another one. I've probably got no idea. I don't think it's Darwin. I don't think it's... I've never heard of D. Kipling. It could be Kipling or it could be Drake. I think it's B or C. Like I say, there's nothing to lose. I'm going to go with Drake. I'm going to choose Sorry. B. I'm probably totally wrong here. Final? Well. Yeah, oh. absolutely. <laughs> wow. This and is honestly... You people are going to think I'm, make, I'm Googling this, but honestly, it's just fluke at the moment. Uh, we might be able to get to the top, I doubt it. This one will probably screw me up. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? 25k question. Furthest I've ever got. Which comedy cop spotted a car sticker proclaiming I love violence? <laughs> this will screw me, screw me up. I've never heard of any of these. Literally never heard of any of these whatsoever. If I was to guess, I would say Sledgehammer, because it sounds like the most violent of them all. Um, but I'm not going to punt it this time. I'm taking the money. The threshold is yours. Like I said, I would have gone with Sledgehammer if I'd have guessed, but. Oh yeah, wow. Well, that's 250 of those, and then I can spend that 250 in the shop to buy something. I packed it, the cheapest packs are 1,000 of those. Um, the most expensive packs like 4,000. But there's some really cool things like Star Wars, Harry Potter, um, Marvel, superheroes, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, all in all, a good fun game. Not that much in the way of replayability. Some of the questions are a little dodgy, by the way. Like, sometimes... Of the four options, you'll have two answers that are the same. Now, luckily, both those answers are not normally wrong. Um, but, you know, it's just like, in a sense, the quality control isn't there all the time. And, you know, it's a little bit buggy. But you can tell it's a fairly low-budget game. Uh, but it's good fun. Um, so, you know, definitely worth it buy. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't rush out to buy it at full price, if I'm perfectly honest.